Good evening. Hello, Luis, can you listen to me? Hello? Hello, Luis, can you listen to me? Hello? Hello, hello? Luis, can you listen to me? Hi, good evening. I disculpe, estaba en una llamada. Oh, it's okay. So, um, I just want to know if you can listen to me. Yes. Do you listen to me? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Um, well, so thank you so much, Luis, for being on time. And I see that Rodrigo is just connecting. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you listen to me, Rodrigo? Yes, teacher. I can listen. Okay, because, I mean, it's raining here in the place where I live, so I was kind of afraid that probably you were not going to listen to me. So today I'll, I will have my camera off because the internet is not working that well. So if I turn my, my, my camera on, the internet, uh, the internet is gonna be bad. So that's why I will have my camera off, but I will still be here with you. Okay, thank you very much Rodrigo and Luis for being on time. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. So probably okay. your classmates are going to be connecting throughout the session. I really don't know. I just got some messages on the WhatsApp group saying some of them that they are not going to be able to be here because it's raining. I guess that's Rocio and Andrea. So probably the others or some others are going uh, to connect. So uh, I just want to know, Rodrigo, uh, are you having any situation when you try to connect to Zoom application or when you try to enter to the class? Are you having any situation with application or something? Um, no, teacher. Uh, no. I don't problem. No. No problem. Okay. What about no you, Luis? Do you have any problem when you try to connect to the class? No problem. No problem. Okay, that's good. Because I don't know if you check what uh, administration sent you to the WhatsApp group. And they were explaining that Zoom update some things on the app. So uh, there are some things that are changed. And because of those changes, there are some people that are having some problems trying to connect into the application. But if you're not having any issue at all, that's great. So uh, I really don't know, guys, if your classmates are going to connect or not. But we're going to start with what we have for today because, you know, we just have one hour. And for that, uh, as usual, we're going to start by asking you questions about the previous class. So you already know that we always do those things, okay? So um, yesterday, as you remember, we saw the zero article and we saw also some articles and some quantifiers. So I don't know what you guys remember about, about that. For example, Rodrigo, can you tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? Uh, okay, teacher. I remember the last class, for example, use any and some. Uh -huh. uh, for example, I can use any for plural nouns uh -huh. and uncountable. Okay. Negative sentence and question. 
and I can use some uh -huh. uh, in I can use some in positive and countable. And countable, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Rodrigo, for that. So, Luis Montano, let me ask you a question. Can I make questions or with some, or is there any exception that we can have in English when it comes to some and any? Is there any exception? Eh, no, 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 le entiendo. no, 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 no,
Ready. Ready, okay. And Luis? What about Georgina, Luis, and Claudia? Are you ready? Ready. Ready, okay, yes. Okay, Luis, thank you very much. Now let's start. We're gonna start with, with the practice that we have for today. And this practice is going to be about A, N, some, and any. Now, uh, let me just check right here. For example, See, I will show you, I will show you, uh, you know, a picture on the screen. Me voy a poner una, una pantalla. I will show you that. And I will give you three minutes. Me voy a dar tres minutos de máxima. And what I need you to do, lo que necesito que hagan es que escriban únicamente las respuestas en orden de este párrafo. For example, si para usted la number one, if for you number one, si para ustedes aquí number one es A or es some, ponga número uno some. Then number two, the answer number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ahí estamos. Son diez. So you will have three minutes from now. Van a tener tres minutos a partir de ahora. So when you finish, uh, well, I will let you know. We're going to finish at 8.16. A las ocho de we finished. And then you will have to send a picture through the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. Good, so let's start. Welcome, Christian. I see that you just connected. Christian, can you hear me? Christian, can you hear me? Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hey, Christian. Uh, well, right now we're doing a practice, yeah. Christian. And in this practice, what we're doing is that the picture that you can see on the screen, you have to give me the answers. Necesito que en un cuaderno, in your notes or whatever you're doing, I need you to write the answers. For example, number one, you write the answer. Number two, you write the answer. Number three, you write the answer. It's not necessary. No es necesario que escribas el párrafo. I just need the answers, okay? They are 10. So write them down on a notebook or if you're using your phone, do it in your phone and then you will have three minutes. Then when you finish the three minutes, you will have to send a picture. That's what we're doing. Okay. Only words, only words. Only words, I mean the answer, solamente las respuestas. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, guys, for the others that we started on at 813, it's over. So the only one that is going to still be working on that is Christian, but the others, it's done. So I need you to send the picture right now to the WhatsApp group. Okay, guys, I haven't received anyone yet. Nobody has sent a picture right now. So the others, los demás, I'm talking about Georgina. I'm talking about Luis Chavez, Luis Montalvo, Rodrigo. Uh, I'm also talking about Claudia. The time is over. El tiempo ya se les terminó a ustedes. So please start sending your pictures through the WhatsApp group, okay? I see nobody yet. So the only one that still be missing is Christian. So Christian, you still have one minute. Okay, I just received Rodrigo's. What about the others? I'm talking about Georgina. I'm still missing Georgina, Claudia. I'm still missing Luis Chavez, Luis Montano. Wow, so I'm gonna stop sharing. So guys, please, I need you to send that right now. Okay, I received Georgina. Okay, I already received Christian. I guess that's Christian. I also received uh, Luis already. Yeah, Luis, I guess that's Luis. Luis, but I don't know which Luis. No sé que Luis, because it only says Luis on top. So I don't know if it is Luis Chavez or Luis Montano. Who is the one that already sent it? De los dos Luis Chavez. Okay, Luis Chavez. Okay, good. I'm still missing. Todavía me falta el de Claudia Maria, Luis Montano. Okay, Claudia, I already received yours. Thank you very much. Luis Montano, okay, thank you so much. All right, so I guess I already received the majority of you, so now I'm just still missing Carlos. Carlos, because you were not here when I gave the instructions. So, uh, well, that's, that's gonna be pretty much all. So let me show you guys um, today's class. The class of today, guys, is going to be a little bit about vocabulary. So today, we are going to see vocabulary about jobs and occupations. So I'm pretty sure that the majority of you or some of you already know about it. So now let me ask you, can you see the screen? Can everyone see the screen? Yes, I can see. Okay, good. So, all right, so let me just check that. So thanks for confirming, Rodrigo. Now, as you can see there, we can have uh, jobs and occupations and today is our seventh class. And 
Today is going to be a little bit more of vocabulary, okay? So we're going to uh, try to learn much of pronunciations and things like that. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know how to say some things, so that's not going to be difficult for you. So mostly what we're going to do is that we're going to try to practice pronunciation. That's going to be the mostly part of this. Why? Because some, some of the professions or occupations that we are going to see here are pretty easy, and I know that some of you already know that. So let me just continue. So here we have, we have four occupations or professions here. For example, I want to focus the, on the pronunciation of this one, the first one, because when we start to learn English, there are some students who make the mistake of mispronunciation in the word teacher and t-shirt, because those are two different pronunciations. So I would like to listen to, to all of you just to verify how you make the pronunciation. Carlos Argueta, I would like to listen to you. Make the pronunciation of this one and this one, please. Hi, teacher. Uh, sorry, estoy un poco mal de salud, pero igual. Uh, teacher. Teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Carlos, I hope you get better, okay? So, Claudia Maria. Go ahead, please, Claudia Maria. Make the same pronunciation, please. Claudia Maria. Um, mm. This one. No. Yes. Can you repeat it again? Because I couldn't listen to you. Se te escucha como lejos, Claudia. Repeat it again, please. Okay, no problem. So we're going to move on to another person. Let's see, Christian. Can you please, Christian, make the pronunciation of this one and this one? Okay, teacher, t-shirt. That was good pronunciation, Christian. Thank you very much. Now, Georgina, let's do the same thing. Um, teacher, mm -hmm. t-shirt. Okay, good. That was good. Thank you so much, Georgina. Now, let's move on to Luis Chavez. Teacher, this year. Okay, good. Let's see, Luis Montano. Let's do the same thing. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Okay, Rodrigo. Let's go with you. Teacher and t-shirt. Okay, good. Now let me tell you a little bit about that. Now, this one, we are going to pronunciate it as the same way we do it in Spanish. For example, in Spanish, we use in our alphabet, we say ch, right? The ch. We have that in Spanish. So here we're going to say teacher, teacher. And this one, we're going to make a different sound. What's the sound? Shh. We're going to do t shirt. So that is going to be the difference. Teacher. T-shirt, and it's very important, guys, that you know how to make the difference between they both. Why? Because if you don't make the right pronunciation of the words, you might think that you are going to be saying camisa, but you were probably are going to be saying profesor. So we got to be careful a little bit on that, okay? Now, I'm going to read, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to read, voy a leer todas, and then I will start asking this. Voy a empezar a preguntar. Now, let's see. Teacher, accountant, 
painter, detective. I repeat it again, teacher, accountant, painter, detective. Now, I would like to listen. Let me see, I would like to listen to you, Christian. Okay, teacher, mm -hmm. accountant, painter, detective. Good, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Georgina, what about you? Go ahead. A teacher, accountant, painter, detective. Good, excellent. Now we're going to move on to another one. So nos vamos a mover a otros. And here we have, I will repeat it again, lo repito de nuevo, and then I will ask you, I will ask some of you, okay? Now let me see. We have hair, hair dresser, hair dresser, plumber, plumber, postman, postman, judge, judge. Okay. Now let me listen to you, Carlos Sargueta. Oh man, no, you said that you're sick, right? And he said que estás enfermo. So we're gonna. I just need you to pay attention. Necesito que prestes atención, but I appreciate that you are here. Now, Rodrigo. Okay, okay. Hairdresser, mm -hmm. plumber, mm -hmm. postman. Okay. Judge. Judge, excellent. Luis Montano, go ahead, Luis Montano. Let me listen to you. Uh, I'm sorry. Hair, no, chair draws. No, we say here hair dresser. Hair dressing. Mm -hmm. Plumber. Plumber. Hostman. Postman. Postman. Mm -hmm. Juice. Judge. Judge. Good. Thank you very much. Now, Claudia Maria. Let's go with you, Claudia Maria. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, plumber. Okay. Postman. Okay. Uh, uh, Judge. Judge. Okay. Yes. Judge. That's the way we say it. Good. Now, uh, I think it's not necessary, right? Pienso que no es necesario decirles que es because with the, with the image, you have an idea. Con la imagen, yo creo que tienen una idea. So I'm not going to say that in Spanish, okay? So I will keep moving on. And then if you have any questions, you can let me know or ask in case you have any question. And I, I will let you know what's the meaning in case you don't know. So we're going to move on. And here we have, I will repeat it again. Carpenter, carpenter, taxi driver, taxi driver, dentist, Dentist, Taylor, Taylor. Repeat it again, carpenter, taxi driver, dentist, Taylor. So we'll start with you, empezamos contigo. Uh, let's see, Rodrigo, let's start with you, Rodrigo. Okay, carpenter, mm -hmm. taxi driver, okay. dentist, Okay. Taylor. Good. Thank you very much. Now we'll go with you, Christian. Okay. Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Taxi driver. Okay. Dentist. Mm -hmm. Taylor. Good. Excellent. Now we'll move on with you, Georgina. Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Taxi driver. Dentist. Okay. Taylor. Good, excellent. We move on with you, Luis Montano. Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Taxi driver. Okay. Dentics. Okay. Taylor. 
Excellent. That was good pronunciation, Luis Montano. Now let's move on with you, Luis Chavez. Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Taxi dry. Driver. Taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Dentist. Okay. Taylor. Excellent. That was good. Claudia Maria. Now let's move on with you. Okay. Uh, taxi driver. Okay. Uh, carpenter. Okay. Dentist. Okay. Taylor. Excellent. That was really good. The majority of you, la mayoría, los pronunciaron excellent this round. So let's see what about the others. So here we have fireman, fireman, doctor, doctor, acrobat, acrobat, gardener, gardener. So I repeat it again, lo repito de nuevo, fireman, doctor, Acrobat, gardener. So now let's start with you. Uh, once again, Rodrigo. Fireman, doctor, mm -hmm. acrobat, gardener. Excellent. Thank you so much, Christian. Okay. Fireman, mm -hmm. doctor, mm -hmm. acrobat, mm -hmm. gardener. Gardener. Okay, let me tell you something, guys. In English, there's two ways. Hay dos formas de decir bombero. We can say the, the one. We can say fireman or we can say firefighter. Firefighter. So let's see. Vamos a escuchar Rodrigo once again. Repeat this one. Okay. Firefighter. Perdón. Fire, Firefighter. Firefighter. Correct. Christian, repeat it. Okay. Firefighter. Excellent. Now, I need, let's go with, nos vamos a ir con Georgina. Georgina, repite los todos, please. Repeat them all. Fireman, mm -hmm. firefighter, firefighter, fire, fighter, fighter. Okay. Doctor. Okay. Acrobat. 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 Mm -hmm. Gardener. Gardener. Good. Now let's move on with you, Claudia. Okay. Fireman. Mm -hmm. Firefighter. 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 Mm -hmm. Doctor. Doctor, okay. Doctor. Okay. Gardener. Gardener. Excellent. Now let's go with you, Luis Montano. Fire mean. Mm -hmm. Fight the fighter. Uh-huh. Doctor. Okay. Acrobat. Okay. Gardener. Excellent. That was good. Now let's move on with you, Luis Chavez. Fireman. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Okay. Acrobat. Okay. Gardener. Excellent. That was good. Now, thank you so much, guys, for participating. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Nos movemos a la próxima. And here we have, and this one, I will repeat it, pilot. We also have photographer, professor, policeman. Pilot, photographer, professor, policeman. Now let's start with you, Rodrigo. Pilot, okay. photographer, uh -huh. professor, Okay. And policeman. 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 Good. Christian. Okay. Pilot. Mm -hmm. Photographer. Okay. Professor. No. Professor. Pardon? 
okay? Professor. Professor. Okay. And policeman. Policeman, okay. Policeman. Good. Excellent. Now, let's go with you, Georgina. Pilot. Mm -hmm. Photographer. Okay. Professor. Okay. Policeman. Good pronunciation, Georgina. Now, let's go with you, Claudia. Pilot. Okay. Photographer. Excellent. Okay. Professor. Good. Policeman. Good, excellent. Now let's move on with you, Luis Montano. Pilot. Mm -hmm. Photographer. Okay. Professor. No, professor. Professor. Mm -hmm. Policeman. Policeman. Okay, now we finish with you, Luis Chavez. Pilot. Mm -hmm. Photographer. Okay. Professor. No, professor. Professor. Mm -hmm. Policeman. 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 Okay, now, you might wonder yourself, ¿alguno de ustedes se ha preguntado what's the difference between professor and teacher? Or do you already know? Or ya lo saben. What's the difference between professor and teacher? Okay, hey, buen punto. Okay. No, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know, teacher. No. Okay, good. Now, let, let me tell you. The difference between teacher and professor is the following. When you say teacher, is because you're talking about someone. Estamos hablando de alguien from kindergarten, desde kinder, until high school, hasta bachillerato. Then, if you go to the university, in the university, you are not going to tell teacher. You are going to call them professor. En la universidad no se les va a decir teacher. A ellos se les dice professor. That's the difference. Es la única diferencia. Professors are only one going to be the ones that study or that teach at the university. But then from kindergarten until high school, you will have to call them teacher. That's the difference. Esa es la diferencia. So I hope it's clear. Pero que esté claro. So we're going to move on to the next one. So here we have. Yes, teacher. We have astronaut, pianist, and priest. Chef. Astronaut, pianist, and priest. Now, let's listen to you once again, Rodrigo. Okay, chef. No, okay. astronaut. This one, the first one is not chef, it's chef. 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 Okay. Chef. Okay. Astronaut. A astronaut. Mm -hmm. Pianist. Mm -hmm. Priest. Priest, good. Now let's move on with you, uh, Christian. Okay, chef, mm -hmm. astronaut, mm -hmm. piano, okay, priest. Good. Nice. Thank you very wow. much, Luis Chavez. Let's go with you, chef, mm -hmm. astronaut, mm -hmm. pianist, okay, priest. Good, excellent. Georgina, let's move on with you. Chef. Mm -hmm. Astronaut. Okay. Yanis. Okay. Price. Excellent. Thank you so much. Claudia, let's go with you. Okay. Okay. Astronaut. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's let's finish with Luis Montano. Chef. Mm -hmm. Astronaut. Okay. Piaist. Okay. Priest. 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 Okay, good, excellent. We're gonna move on to the next one. Or is there any question? Alguien tiene una pregunta so far? Any question so far? 
Well, so uh, no, no, okay, good. Let's move on then. Now we have here, we have uh, butcher, butcher, lumberjack, lumberjack, brick lawyer, brick lawyer, astronomist. Let me tell you that this one, este de acá también lo podemos decir como, let me see, just write it here. And we can say Mason. So we can say Mason or brick, brick lawyer para referirnos a albañil, brick lawyer or Mason. So I repeat it again, butcher, lumberjack, Mason, brick lawyer, Economist. So we start with you, Rodrigo. Butcher, lumberjack, mason, brick lawyer, okay. astronomy. Good, excellent. We go with you, Luis Chavez. Uh, butcher? No, butcher. Butcher? Mm -hmm. Lumberjack? Lumberjack. Lumberjack. Uh, Bricklayer. Bricklayer. Mm -hmm. Bricklayer. Astronomist. 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 Okay, good. Georgina, let's go with you, Georgina. Butler. Okay. Lumberjack. Okay. Nice. Break the layer. Okay. Astronomy. Good. Thank you very much. Claudia, let's go with you, Claudia. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Lumber check. Okay. Mason. Okay. Layer. Okay. Astronomy. Excellent. That was good, Claudia. Now, Christian. Okay. Butcher. Mm -hmm. Lumberjack. Okay. Mason. Okay. Brit Liar. Okay. Astronomist. Astronomist. Okay. Is there any question so far, guys? Alguna pregunta? No. No. All right. So I'm going to move on to the next one. And here we have this one. I'm going to repeat them. Hunter, fisherman, football player, and monk. Hunter, fisherman, football player, monk. So now let's start with you, Rodrigo. Hunter, mm -hmm. fisherman, mm -hmm. football player, mm -hmm. monk. So this one, Rodrigo, here, let's be a little bit careful. Porque lo que escuché es que dijiste es pescadores en vez de pescador. This one is fisherman, and the other is fisherman. Okay. Okay, good. Now, Christian. Okay. Hunter. Mm -hmm. Fisherman. Mm -hmm. Football player. Okay. Monk. Excellent, good. Now let's go with you, Luis Chavez. Hunter, mm -hmm. fisherman, okay. football player, okay. monk. Thank you so much. Now let's go with you, Claudia. Hunter, mm -hmm. fisherman, okay. player, okay. monk. Mark, thank you so much. Georgina? Hunter? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, understand the um, fisherman or fisherman? No, that one is fisherman because that's singular. And if you say fisherman, that's plural. Okay. So this one is fisherman. fisherman. Football player. Mm -hmm. 
Monk. Thank you so much. Now let's go with Luis Montano. Hunter. Mm -hmm. Featureman. Mm -hmm. Football player. Mm -hmm. Mom. Good. Thank you so much. Now let's move on. Nos movemos. And here we have some others. Tenemos otras. Some of them are repetitive here, or we repeat some of them. Aquí se repiten algunas que ya vimos. Now, in this one, I'm going to repeat them all and pay attention. Nurse, nurse, a baker, a baker, bet, a farmer, a fireman, a fireman, a fisherman, a gardener, a hairdresser, a journalist, a judge, a lawyer, a mason, a mechanic, a painter, a plumber. Now, let's see. Let's start with uh, Georgina. The first three, las primeras tres, horizontal, please, horizontal. Nurse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, baker. Mm -hmm. But. Good. This one, uh, we don't say nurse. We say nurse. 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 Good. Excellent. That was good. Now let's let's go with you, Rodrigo. Line number two, horizontal, please. Okay. A farmer, mm -hmm. a fireman, okay. a fisherman, okay. a gardener. Thank you so much. Now let's go with you and the sec and the third one, uh, Luis Chavez. A hairdresser, mm -hmm. a journalist, mm -hmm. a Jude. No, judge. A judge, mm -hmm. a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you so much. Christian, let's go with you. Okay. A mason, mm -hmm. a mechanic, okay. a painter, okay. a plumber. Good, thank you very much. Now, is there any question? Hay alguna pregunta? Is there any question? Teacher, um, What's the difference, monk, with uh, priest? Monk is what we call un monje. Have you ever heard? Lo han escuchado? Have you ever heard about un monje? Yes. Okay. So monje is a monk, and priest okay. is como a lo que se le llama en la Iglesia Católica a un cura o un padre. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so any other question? Alguien más tiene una otra pregunta? No? All right. La pronunciation, uh, nurse. Uh, nurse. nurse. Uh, you mean, uh, say it again. Similar, pero similar. Uh, you mean, mean this? Ah, yes. Okay, so this one we say nerd. 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 This one nurse. Nerd. Uh -huh. yeah, that's okay. completely different. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if there's no any other question, we're going to go directly to the practice. And well, before we go to that, uh, what is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que alguien nos puede hacer para saber our Profession, occupation, or what we do. Cuando alguien quiere saber su ocupación, su profesión, o lo que usted hace para vivir, le pregunta what, for example, what does he do? En este caso, utilizando he. What does he do? He's a doctor. What does she do? She's a vet. What does your father do? He's a teacher. 
what does your mother do? She's a chef. Okay? Remember, no, cuando usted escuche, what, da, what do you do? No significa que le están preguntando, ¿qué haces? Significa, que, ¿a qué te dedicas? What do you do? Okay, so what does she do? She's a nurse. We have another one. Oh, that's pretty much it. Remember, ¿cuál es la pregunta? What's the question? Mm, for example, if I ask you, si yo te pregunto, Christian, what do you do? ¿Cuál sería tu, tu respuesta? Uh, I am. Uh, mm -hmm. I am employment. No sé cómo se llama empleado. An employee. You are an employee. I am an employee. Or you can say, I am a student. Why? Because you are in the English class. Okay. Good. So I hope it's clear. Espero que esté claro. Now, since we don't have enough time, eh, this one, we're not going to do it. Esta de acá, no la vamos a hacer. So we're going to go, nos vamos a ir directa a esta. So please, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of that. And uh, what I need you to do, lo que necesito que escriban ahí es the profession or occupation based on the little image that you see. Basado en la imagen pequeña que pueden ver ahí. So you just write, necesito que escriban únicamente the, you know, the, the name of the profession. So now, we're going to move on to, let's see, to this one. Es la numero dos, is number two. So that's going to be all. So va a ser todo. And nos vamos a ir a trabajar en los breakout rooms. So. Voy a poner la pantalla anterior, porfa, para tomar el screen. This one. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to move on, as I said, to the breakout rooms. And we're going to go <clears throat> four and four, I guess. Now we're going to go here, 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 and here, to here. All right. So let's go. Please go ahead and join the rooms.